friends, how are you? I hope all is well. Let's go ahead and get straight in to see what is coming up for you Capricorns this next week of November 29th through um, December 6th. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and see what you have in store for your love life for this next coming week. Oh, I see a fellow Cancer sign maybe here coming through. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, um, I feel like this person can sometimes be a little cold, a little, you know, distant, okay? Fellow Capricorn, okay, this person may have offered you a cup of love before and um, or this person, maybe you are thinking about coming forward but with this Eight of Swords here, I feel a sense of like you feel stuck for some reason. You feel stuck. You feel like you're not able to give this lovely Queen of Cups the love she deserves for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see what this Queen of Cups in Reverse, okay? Because Queen of Cups in Reverse can technically mean somebody who's who's um, um, cold-hearted, but the Queen of Cups is usually very loving, very giving, very emotional, you know, very emotionally stable female, or this can just be Divine Feminine, can be male coming through as well. But in the reverse, I feel like maybe they're just not being themselves at the moment, or they're just not giving you the love that they've given you in the past for some reason. And I see here that it has you feeling very stuck in this next week. It's just what I'm getting for you Capricorn, okay? This is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn, this this reading is for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and dive in, into what this is about. First, I want to see your angel cards, your angel, okay? Because I want to see who and what this is about. Who is this Queen of Cups? Immediately, um, chemistry, okay? I'm not going to take it, but definitely keep that in mind. It's somebody you have uh, strong chemistry with, for sure, okay? With this Ace of Cups here, I feel like you want to come forward, but you're feeling stuck, Capricorn. What's going on? What is going on for my Capricorns here? Um, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Who is this for our fellow Capricorns listening? Okay, my channel is very, very new, so I'm pretty sure... Um, if it doesn't reach a lot of people, it's like pretty much um, almost like a personal reading. This is your soulmate. Okay, so this person you're thinking about, this Queen of Cups, is definitely your soulmate. Okay, as far as your, um, your feelings stuck, we don't know why, but we will get into advice from the monology cards and our universe guidance. So don't worry. I'm pretty sure after this reading, you're going to feel a lot better. So there's definitely some distance, okay? There's some distance, but there's... I feel like you guys may be coming together sometime this week, kind of, kind of. It's like, I think you guys are coming together in a sense. Um, enjoy the holiday time together, okay? Or maybe during this holiday season you will be. But with the honeymoon card, I see it as the the six of swords, okay? With the six of swords, is like maybe this person came into your life. The six of swords were here. The six of swords represent moving into calmer waters, you know, everything just flowing nice nicely but then we get the eight of swords which is where you're feeling trapped so i don't know what happened but this next week is really gonna have you in your feels for sure okay about this person this really special person in your life capricorn okay it can be a fellow cancer okay because i see a lot of water energy but it can also be a um pisces i hear pisces a cancer or what's our other water sign? A Scorpio. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely somebody from your past coming back in. Or maybe someone that you are going to be reaching out to. Okay, somebody from your past. Past life connection. You have known each other before. And then we get forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more loving your present moments. So maybe this is just some energy and a tip of advice that you guys can be using. Um, or you guys maybe just uh, missing this person because I see this guy. <laughs> I don't know. This guy looks really depressed. So I don't know if some if something really has you in your feelings this next week, Capricorn. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and dive in to your um, moon, monology oracle advice for our fellow Capricorns. Okay. Oh, snap. Falling out. All right. 
So don't let pride get in your way. So if this this is something holding you back, I feel like this is the advice that you've been waiting for, okay? So fellow Capricorns, uh, this next week, just don't let don't let pride get in your way in between this you and this person, this this lover. I feel like you have so much um, passion for and that you're just missing. But I feel like you're letting pride get in your way of the relationship this next week. Or maybe it's just something that you need to release. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward to see what else we can get. What else? What other advice does the moon have for our fellow Capricorns? We get a look at the bigger picture. Okay, so I feel like you guys are really zoned in, micro, micro nitpicking every single little thing. And you guys need to just really take a step back this next week and really take a look at what's really been going on in between you and this person. Okay, so definitely whether this person is stepping into your life and um, offering you love. So this is for Capricorns. So I mean, it's a pretty general reading. But if this person is coming into your life and offering you something and you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like you can't move. You know, just know that you can release those swords anytime you want. I'm getting it's time to take action. Okay, and I also got this um, confidence is your key to success. So I'm getting major Leo energy. You might be dealing with a, another Leo here, Capricorn, Aries as well. I see fire energy. I see a lot of passion. I see a lot of love. A lot of love. A new beginning in love, but you're feeling stuck still. But this connection you have with this person is definitely, um, can be, a, I'm getting a strong Leo energy, strong Aries, so fire sign. I'm also seeing Sagittarius. This can be you since we are, um, I'm sorry, we're doing Capricorn right now. So it can be a fellow Sagittarius as well. Okay, or they may have these signs in their birth chart. So... Um, confidence is your key to success and don't let pride get in your way is what I'm hearing from spirit that you need to embody this next week in order to feel unstuck, untrapped. Okay. Cause this, you're, you're feeling very trapped here, Capricorn. Okay. So let's get some advice from our universe. Let's see what the universe wants to tell us here this next week what's in store for our fellow Capricorns anything else coming through any further advice you have um so I'm getting here blessings inspiration time to shine it's time for you to step forward and show and shine your light do not hold back Capricorns really let your beautiful radiant energy come through this next week I'm getting a lot of an activation of your solar solar plexus chakra is what I'm hearing okay the solar plexus Plus, excuse me, solar plexus chakra talks about, um, you know, your inner light and just really, I'm seeing a lot of light energy, light yellow energy. So your solar plexus chakra is being activated. Okay. I get caution, keep your guard up. So a lot of you are probably, you know, keeping your guard up about this situation and the fact uh, that this came up, maybe there's an offering of love coming your way, or you are making an offering of love to the queen of cups here but you're still keeping your guard up okay that's just what i'm getting this next week coming up can i get one more card please one more card there's nothing wrong with protecting your energy and protecting yourself okay especially when you're dealing with um with you know unknown situations you know just still be yourself is what i'm hearing still be yourself okay i see a lot of change coming okay the new season of life i see change coming within your love life okay so definitely something new something new in love and something um big on forgiving and learning okay whatever you're missing is coming back and it's changing um okay it's you're changing you're changing that's what i'm hearing okay so let's go ahead and get a little bit more advice on this reading for my fellow Capricorns here for the next week of November 29th through December 6th. Ooh, we got two cards. We got... Oh, if I can find the other one. No. You got the love. Codependency boundaries. So uh, I'm getting a lot... A lot of boundaries um, is what I'm hearing, okay? With this with this Eight of Swords, I feel like you just have your boundaries, you know? But um, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with setting boundaries with this person or relationship you're dealing with here this next upcoming week. Okay, Capricorns. Oh, I found the other card. No, fell. Okay. Learning how to be human 
in the world but not of it so you're definitely learning how to just shine your light and just become this beautiful um energy that you have within you you're learning to be confident you're learning to step out of your comfort zone is what i'm hearing you're learning to set up those boundaries to be able to just step into a loving energy there's nothing wrong with being in love or falling in love and just setting up boundaries okay there's nothing wrong with that so let's go ahead and keep moving forward here for my fellow capricorns what else one last card from the starseed oracle please so let me get this one here. We get trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Okay, so that goes along with the new season of life. You know, seasons come and go. Okay, life is here. Time isn't running out. So don't feel like you don't have time. Okay, really take the time to forgive and learn whatever it is within you okay something within you there's new solutions new beginnings you're gonna survive this okay you're gonna survive this capricorn whatever it is you're going through okay everywhere leads to home so don't feel like you don't have time because at the end of the day when you listen to your intuition your intuition is gonna take you to the right place okay doors are opening for you so you're gonna decide whether you want to step into this um new earth that's coming in for you this new opportunity okay this new opportunity of love okay um you are you are very you absorb people's energies very quickly which is why i feel like you're very guarded um capricorn but you are also a very hard worker so um if you feel like you need to call in support call in support from your spirit guys okay capricorn to see what else um you need to do in order to just move ahead and step ahead and step out of those stop, step out of this um comfort zone or out of this entrapment you feel like you're in we're going to take one more card from our lovely spirit guide um animal deck to see what spirit guide you need to embody this next week coming up okay i feel like it was this one oh the sea serpent this is spirit coming through okay i'm going to pull out one more for you okay something with a cycle cycles are coming back into your life or um you just need to really pay attention to oh hold on let me see here oh so i'm getting a lot of water energy your emotions yeah definitely a huge um a huge something big about your emotions coming to light okay maybe you're expressing expressing your emotions um the sea serpent is all about let's take a quick look into this really quick because i can't remember at the moment sorry fellow capricorns the sea serpent and the second chakra the subtle energy of the sea serpent occupies the area the area of the second chakra um creativity and it's also associated with water element water is all about emotions okay okay and expressing your true emotions you're healing your emotional wounds and you're expressing your desires so yeah i feel like you're going to come forward to this queen of cups expressing your emotions okay and there's nothing wrong with that you have your boundaries that you know what you want kind of thing so the well energy the well is very powerful as well because um it's such a big animal and it's such an important animal in our ecosystem okay we need the well we need it so a desire to delve deeper, a profound peace, ancient wisdom. So yeah, something about your deep emotions that you're going to be expressing this next week, Capricorn. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I will end your reading here because the video is getting a little extended. And I don't want it to be too long for you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please remember to support my videos in order to, for my channel to grow. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.